Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Cage number 2, the second issue in the Cage series by Marvel, made by the, created by the guy who created one of my favorite shows of all time, Sam Marchak. He is the writer for the book and seems to be the artist, because it doesn't have a thing for artists, it has a thing for income and stuff, but has him by Cage by da da da, and doesn't have as writer and artist, so he thinks he's the writer and artist, that's pretty... Cool, and then other people like Incos and that stuff, but that's not. We're gonna talk about the comic to get into it. And I'm also adding more to this because that's not talking a little more. This, this comic's gonna be a really short one. I should be able to just really short. It starts off with Cage on the last time he got knocked out. We see him in a box, a craft in a box, and obviously you can't cage Cage because he's pretty strong. If it's just a regular like box and uh, like called uh, one box, he should be able to break out easy, which he does, and then finds out. There's the giant, um, tiger people. Tiger people, I don't know what to do with these, um, tigers in, like, suits and stuff. And obviously he jumps in the water thinking, hey, cats on the water. But they come straight after him. They're gunning for him. He swims to the island, off the boat. Don't know why he didn't stay on the boat and kick the butt, but... There's things I'm not gonna question. And then they come after him and he just starts running through the forest. And then as he finds a snake, bites him on the hand. And really, he doesn't do anything because the snake burning him doesn't do really anything. Cause he has, um, what's called a skin that is really hard, like it's almost indestruct indestructible. And he punches the snake's eyes out. That's not funny. And he, and this book is cool, and it just shows him like just running away from them for the next couple pages. Him running, and he stops. And he has to stop because he's so tired. And he's like, I'm tired. I need to take a break and take a breather. And then, um, cat people were chasing him find like some footprints and a piece of his clothing so they find out yeah he's on the we know they're coming and then he's like and he yells them again and then he starts running again away from them he bolted out of there and then he, he ends up into he's running into a in a clearing where it has a bunch of flowers and stuff in there and then he tries to it's like step on what i made the best idea and they shoot uh like smoke at him gas at him and he gets knocked out it's kind of you know it's a knockout gas but then it's where he starts hallucinating, like it's an acid trip shit. It's a match, it's old school acid trip shit. He's, that like our pages are just pages of him like tripping out and stuff. It's just really. Uh, he's tripping out like balls. He's tripping out fucking balls. And then we see um, a scene where Sarah's uh, him still tripping in a Wonderland. Like, uh, not Wonderland, uh, was it Wizard of Oz? A Wizard of Oz. Page was like him and she's Cage and uh, it seems like Misty Knight found Cage and telling like the flowers have a thing to loosen eight loosen the genetic drugs in them so that's why he's seeing all the weird shit and then with him this weird creature saying welcome Cage ha 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 you're like what happens next and it's a weird ending I can't really I don't know how to say it. it's a weird creature that's all I can say about it because it's one of the books that's hard to explain some things like how do you explain this at the end how do I explain this what is that what is that how do I explain it and that's it for the book until issue 3 comes out next mm, this month actually because when I'm recording this uh, the book is awesome the art style made so it has a cartoon that could be to it where I really just dig it has that kind of like something I would like see on cartoon that what kind of feel to it Maybe a dark one, but it has a very cartoon feel to it, and it's hard, and it fits, I feel like it fits like something like Cartoon Network, or maybe like, maybe at the most, uh, even maybe a dark one if it doesn't fit for Cartoon Network, it's too much here, but it's just fun, it's one of the funnest books out now by Marvel, it's just one of the books that just, you read it, you have fun, it's just a fun book, even though the CT was very short, I hope you guys enjoyed, yeah, you can always tune in for more of these new comic book videos, and I know I just made that sound now, but who cares, it's my video, do whatever the hell I want. And you guys can check out for more new comic book stuff that I do. Uh, talking about new comic. And you can always stay up. I can see you next week, guys. Bye.